My apologies. I guess, uh, you know, obviously you're getting back on the floor a, a little bit more now, I guess, with, with some of the injuries. I mean, just, uh, just over the course of this year, especially just in, in practice, how do you feel like you've game uh, and particularly defensively? Uh, yeah, I mean, a, lo a lot of it's mental when it's when it comes to defense, just studying the film and knowing tendencies and being able to to go through things and do things in my mind to where I know that if my name gets called, I'll be ready. But physically, I mean, uh, I'm, I, I try to lift weights almost every day. I get shots up every day, try to go as hard as I can in practice, just knowing that it, it, either I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to do what I need to do to stay ready, but I can also push my teammates to be better. So it's it's a win win. Keegan. Hey, Anthony, thanks for the time. Um, looked like you guys were playing with a little bit more edge against Maryland. Was that kind of extra emotion, extra push, kind of a culmination of everything that had gone on the past five games? Was Maryland chirping you guys, or were there kind of pregame discussions about that stuff? Um, there wasn't really, like, chirps or anything like that between the teams or anything, but I think just internally, you know, it's it's losing, losing sucks, obviously, so losing five in a row is not something that we want to do, and, and – Meant to make it six would, would have been something that wouldn't have been okay. So we really just tried to lock in, do what we could to, to protect home court like Coach Woody has and has talked about all year and just tried to come out from, from the start and then put together 40 minutes. Mike Schumann. Yeah, Anthony, I guess just going off of losing, sucking, I mean, what, a, what have you noticed different about the team, the locker room this year compared to last year? Uh, in, in terms of what? Just kind of resolve and mindset to kind of get through the, what you guys have gone through this year. Mm -hmm. uh, honestly, I'd say just the biggest difference is that we, we've all experienced it. I mean, although none of us really have true experience winning at, at, at the college level, at, at you know higher levels than that, but uh, just we've all been through it and we've all struggled throughout our college career. And we're, we're a pretty old team, you know, with seniors, juniors, grad students and whatnot. So I think that, just the combination of all that and the experience and just being able to stay stay together and stay committed to our goal that we set back in July and June when we all got together is, has kind of helped us. But I'd say definitely just the, the experience and not wanting to keep repeating in the past. Tyler. Hey, Anthony, I hope you're doing well. Um, I think Trace had mentioned earlier this season about um, how last season there were a couple of times where you were getting up shots in assembly hall after the games and he was rebounding for you. But uh, he said that um, after that, you went to Cook Hall and got up some more shots. Is that true? And and why is that something that you want to do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is true. I, I like to get as much shot, as many shots up as I can. Uh, it's it's uh, it's something that I try to pride myself on, especially if I'm not playing the game to to still get shots up or do some conditioning work with Coach Cliff, just to do things that will keep me ready, just in case my name's called. But it also just it's just something that helps clear my mind mentally too. So, you know, getting shots up is, is a peaceful thing. It's fun. So I, I, I just try to do as much as I can. Jeff. Hey man, thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Hey, so you guys, give me a player's view. You guys are on the NCAA tournament bubble, whether you pay attention, don't pay attention. First of all, I'm curious, do players look at bracketology at all and second of all what's it like as a player does it create angst do you try to just ignore it and say okay we control we control how do you handle it and do you pay attention to it a little bit of both I mean I, I don't I wouldn't say necessarily that we pay attention to it but uh coach Woody has has kind of laid out the roadmap for the rest of the season and trying to tell us you know our expectations realistically if we want to make the tournament we have to win this, this number of games or try to compete to this level, that kind of thing. So that's one aspect to it. We don't really pay attention to or anything, but we're definitely all, all mindful of it. And we're all aware that we need to, we need to win some more games to, to be able to make sure that we can, we can play well in the March. So. Okay. Kevin, then Mike. Yeah, Anthony, I'm just curious how you managed to stay patient and upbeat during the stretch when you weren't playing and, um, how much, you know, you don't root for injuries for teammates, but how much you view this as kind of an opportunity for you to show a little bit what you can do for, for this year and for future years? Uh, Coach Woody's talked about it all year, but he's he's really been big on just the next man up mentality. And the way the way I, I stay patient is like, I mean, obviously work, working as hard as I can to stay ready and, and to be ready, but knowing that 
uh, I'm here and I'm, I'm blessed to just be able to practice and make the guys better no matter what, what, what way it is. So I really just try to work as hard as I can. And, and the patience really is, isn't much of a problem for me. I know technically I'm still a freshman, so I've got a long career ahead and I'm, I'm just excited to keep laying, laying a foundation every day just to, to change culture and, and hopefully lead to success in the future. Okay, Mike, and then the last question will be for Tom, then we'll go back in reverse order or go back in order. Hey, Anthony, you guys probably had your best half of offense in a long time last, uh, last night. What do you think the keys uh, were to making that happen? Um, obviously, ball, ball movement and that type of stuff and hitting shots is big, especially the game X have was, was great and it definitely led the way. But I'd say de defense to offense and just being able to get stops and, and go on runs is a big part of it. And then, uh, like I said, ball movements and spacing the floor, mm -hmm. it makes it a lot easier to, to get the guys um, shots who need to get shots. Coach Woody always says the ball is going to find, it's going to find your team's best player. So I think that when, when we're moving the ball and we're making the extra pass, it, it's contagious and it, it gets everybody in, in the mood to, to, you know, kind of pay it forward or make the extra pass or get someone else a shot. So I think that type of mentality and just some spacing and some some confidence, and it, we, we were able to get it done. Last question, Tom. Anthony, you uh, uh, are always a good energy guy on the bench net, always fired up with your teammates and such. But I was curious, when that shot that Jordan made last night, where he bounced in and off the floor, uh, uh, what was your reaction to that? Had you ever seen anything like that before? And what was the conversation about after the game about it? No, that that was crazy. It was nuts. And then the, I'm pretty sure the next play right after that, Maryland had a three that bounced up and, and basically did the same thing. But that that was nuts. I, I remember we were all just on the bench, like, did that actually just happen? Like, that was unbelievable. That's the kind of thing that you would practice, like playing horse or something. So it, it was awesome. I, I, I really don't think he meant to do that, but it works. <laughs>